Good Saturday, DeFi Nation. It is that time of the week again. Yes, we are running a little behind. Yes, guys, it has been a crazy week. It's been an exciting week. It's been a roller coaster. It's been everything wrapped up into one. You know, I'm glad that you guys are here with us today. First thing I want to do is I want to give a, I want to give the world a big warm welcome. Show them how strong DeFi Nation is. So what I want is I want everybody on here, turn on your camera. I want you to give people a shout out of where you're located in this world. Guys, we have people all over the world just say, hey, good, good morning, good evening, good whatever time of day it is. I'll start out and I'll say, good morning from Kansas today, guys. So get, go ahead. Florida. Texas, good morning. All right. Hi, from the UK. Hi. ATL. Good evening from Holland. <laughs> Good evening from Holland. All right. Come on. We got some more people. You got a lot. We got a lot of cameras going on, guys. You got Good morning from Good evening Minnesota. from Zambia and Malawi. Zambia. All right. Who else we got? Come on. Good of you evening guys. from Germany, Hamburg. Germany. Germany. Detroit. 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 Germany. No. Detroit. All right. DeFi Nation is coming on strong from guys all over the corners of the globe. And um, I couldn't be more blessed, be more honored to uh, to uh, have you guys here today. It's it's going to be a it's going to we're going to make this a good, good, solid presentation today. How about that? We're going to keep it short and sweet, too, and just keep it solid. So um, I appreciate you guys from all over the world joining us today. We saw or this week we saw history, right? So we saw the the historic release of Energy Go. And guys, Energy Go flew up the charts. I mean, it literally, it was pandemonium, guys. The doors open. It was, you know, we were, uh, the bridge we had to get, we had just a few little issues. We had to get those resolved as you, you know, you always have with technology. People were buying on pancakes while the pot price was, was steamrolling up there. Guys, we opened up I don't think you guys realize we opened up at uh, 0. 0.0002. That's two hundredths of a penny. And Energy Go went all the way up to over 0. 0.004. It went to over four tenths of a penny. Let me just put it in perspective for you guys. Guys, that that is 20x. That is 20 times. That is 2,000%. It did that in a matter of hours. Now, this, of course, it's, it's since pulled back since then. You're always going to have your initial surge, right? Your spike, your, your excitement, then you have your pullback, and you're going to come back down to curve back, you know, and, and go on the next run. So <clears throat> this is a really good time to get involved. A lot of people say, well, you know, did I miss it? Did I miss it? And guys, I'm here to tell you guys, it could go much higher. And we're going to talk about why not just energy go but energy could go much higher and why you have not missed the boat you have not missed the boat in fact i'll be honest with you as a trader this is the time i like to get involved i like to let something get out of the gate get the initial surge and excitement out of the way come down i'll pull back and then and then i say you know what i'm in i'm in right here so um you know this is the the typical the time when I'm out there trading in projects that I want to get involved. And I truly believe that this could go much, 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 much higher than where it is now. And energy itself can go much, much higher than where it is now. I really believe that. And we're going to talk about why that could happen. So what I want to talk about first is I want to talk about our transactional coin energy go. And then we're going to talk about energy and how energy go works into the energy ecosystem and how this is so much different than anything else out there. Guys, I want you to understand energy go was created from an existing supply of energy. We took 10,000 energy coins and we, we created energy go at the rate of 1 million to 1. So if you take 10,000 times a million, that's a 10 billion coin supply. Energy Go, high coin supply. Its price is very affordable. It's a sub penny coin. It's on the Binance Smart Chain, extremely inexpensive uh, transaction fees. And then we've got Energy. 
Energy is an extremely low supply, extremely valuable. And energy is what creates royalty payments and cash flow for the people who are holding it within our ecosystem. And we're going to talk about that. But the first thing I want to talk about is I want to talk about Energy Go. Because when you own Energy Go, you get rewards. And those rewards will start happening this week. Okay. Every time Energy Go is transacted with, okay, every time it's bought, every time it's sold, every time it's traded, anytime it's transacted with, there is a 2% transaction rewards that go back to the energy community, back to the, the energy DeFi financial system. And if you're holding Energy Go, you get more energy go and you earn BNB, you earn Binance coin. And you're gonna be able to claim that this week. Alan's gonna talk about that here in just a second. And then if you're in energy and you have at least five energy staked, every single time a transaction happens, you earn dollars, you earn USDC. You're able to earn real money. Why is this important? Well, think about this. With most assets, you buy the asset, right? It appreciates in value and you sell the asset and you make your profit. This is a little bit different, guys, because you get to actually own an asset. It can appreciate in value and you're still earning cash flow on the way up. You're actually earning cash flow without selling the asset. I want you to think of how big that is, how in demand when those rewards start really actively happening, do you think this asset is going to be? You've got an asset that can appreciate in value, you get the upside, you're increasing your wealth when it goes up, but along the journey, you're still earning cash. And that's the beauty of what we have. So I wanna talk about it. I'm gonna turn it over to Alan. He's gonna talk a little bit about Energy Go, how the transaction rewards uh, work, when the um, rewards are going to open. And then, Alan, once you're done doing that, kick it back to me. I'm going to talk about how it ties into energy community. And then we're going to talk about the infinity NFTs. And I'll kick it back over to you to, kick, to talk about those. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to you, Alan, to talk about Energy Go, the transactional rewards, kind of give people the breakdown, rundown, and... Um, also when those rewards will go live this coming week. All right, awesome. All right, welcome. A good Saturday, everybody. I uh, wanted to, uh, first, before we get into discussing Energy Go, I wanted to, to spend a moment here and kind of go back uh, a little bit in history over the last five months uh, and kind of highlight uh, some of the uh, accomplishments and developments that we've made. And then I'm going to talk a little bit about what's coming up here in between now and October 1st. So we're in a rapid uh, developmental phase, where, uh, but I think it's important for people to kind of get a grasp of where we are in terms of uh, energy, uh, what we've accomplished, what we still need to get uh, uh, finished, and uh, what we're, where we're going to be here in just a very short uh, period of time here. The exciting part, I went over this with Chris. Uh, he was preparing um, uh, some information. And as I went through it with him, I became really, uh, I, I didn't realize how close we really were to being where we, uh, to fulfilling the original um, plan and vision of energy. And I think as we go through this, you guys are gonna see uh, how close we really are. And, and we're literally knocking on the door to a completion of a project that uh, is quite massive, quite technically challenging. And we will have every part of, of, of this, uh, of, the, of the infrastructure and development ongoing and successful. Okay, so first of all, we launched energy uh, just uh, you know, just five months ago. And it all began with the deploying of the original energy uh, coin and the creation of the market maker staking contract. And the market maker staking contract was 
really an achievement because for the first time, and Energy Original Coin also, because for the first time, uh, there was truly a, a decentralized coin that was not owned or controlled by anyone, where every person from the beginning put capital into the liquidity pool, uh, very much like a decentralized bank. I guess we have all seen um, Dwayne's production of the new video. It's very true. And the fact is that it was done in a way to promote long-term liquidity. And that was a real accomplishment and, and that we will do. Like, so the next part of the advancement after that was done and we got energy up in trading and people were able to buy energy and stake it and earn rewards. Uh, the next, and, and by the way, it's a unique uh, design and it's a unique value that only uh, is with energy. And so we're really, really proud of, of that design. It is a breakthrough. The true value of that has yet to be realized, but it is something that um, we can all look to and say, yes, we are really a community, a decentralized community, probably more so than even Bitcoin, because even with Bitcoin, the miners can change the software. But with the energy token, that's simply not possible. It will continue to operate all the way through, we have a, a, the remaining of the minting cycle and after it provides a way for people to own energy, to participate in royalties that are generated through a economy and ecosystem. So it's, it's a, a real accomplishment. The second thing I wanna highlight of accomplishment is the energy cross chain bridge, okay? This is now being used on Energy Go. Matter of fact, Energy Go is one, I think maybe the only, um, Binance Smart Chain token that you can directly purchase with Ethereum. That's why once people learn about our project, we become more uh, well, you know, more known in the communities of cryptocurrency, and more, and we gain the respect that we deserve. I think what we're going to find is that that facility, okay, someone, okay, so that facility, the fact that we can go from an Ethereum, which it's much easier to buy. It's a much easier on-ramp to Energy Go, which is Binance Smart Chain. We get the best of both worlds. We get the best of Ethereum, which is the availability and the ease of, of purchase. And we get the low transaction costs and the utility of the Binance Smart Chain. I've been really impressed with Energy Go, with the way the Smart Chain works, by the low cost transaction fees. And the fact that we have probably one of the most unique and innovative platforms that allows this to happen. This is going to provide great long-term value to Energy uh, Go holders and to Energy. So we're really, and that cross chain is unique in the fact that we can move uh, our ecosystem goes from one chain, which is the Ethereum smart chain to the finance smart chain. So that is the bridge. Now, in addition to that basic function, the bridge is also very, very close. I'll tell you about that here in a moment to releasing bridge, bridge trade. The, ne the next part of, uh, of, of the fact is that we launched the first energy decentralized app, Genie Signal. Genie Signal is unique in the fact that people can, they don't have to have a login. They can di directly apply the trading strategies uh, directly to their TD Ameritrade account. And it is a powerful investment tool. We are gaining beta users right now. It is up and running. And it is an exciting DAP development that's going to produce wonderful royalties for the energy community. So we, pr we produce that. The next thing that we produce is the uh, INFT technology, right? We've actually got that up on Starstake. Um, we have developed that technology, which we are expanding into a full broad range of opportunities to participate in royalty income that's going to benefit both IP creators. Star Stake in particular does something for the music industry, which is really needed. It gives artists the opportunity, and that's to get royalties, and, and that's what's missing. That used to be a staple of the music industry is royalty income. And the fact is today that doesn't occur. That means a lot of artists 
have to really scramble to make uh, to make it work for them to pay the production costs to produce music. We are now bringing back royalty income to artists through Starshake. So that's the next step that we have developed. But we were missing a piece as we went through and we looked at the friction points on Starshake. We realized that it was really difficult to buy Binance BNB. It was really difficult to get that to uh, an ease of use to stake music. And it was one of the major reasons why we created Energy Goat. We wanted people to be able to use easily accessible Ethereum, buy Energy Go, and use Energy Go to stake music and all of our other INFT products, right? And so that was really exciting. So the next thing is we've created a new DeFi um, uh, front end, which you've seen a little glimpse of, but it's a whole dashboard. It's going to track your revenues. It's going to show you your staking. It is, looks like a spaceship console. I think Chris has been active in the design of that. That is ready to be hooked up here shortly as well. The other thing we've done is to protect and to build our community as we retained an intellectual property law firm, uh, Studebaker and Bracket, to protect the intellectual property and to make sure that the technology that we are using to benefit the energy community continues to be something that's proprietary and something that we can rely upon without outside people copying and duplicating our success. So we, that was another major accomplishment. Then the royalty contract development. So to sign up STARS, we have to actually get royalty contracts, not only for star stake, but also to sign up these different INFT deals. Uh, Dwayne's been active in talking to uh, multiple uh, INFT deals. I'm not gonna tell you, but I can tell you there's uh, exactly because we want it to be when these contracts are signed, but there's active work being done to get some incredible royalty opportunities under contract for the energy ecosystem. And that process and that time and negotiation has been done. We have agreements in principle with some exciting projects that are gonna be announced here shortly in areas such as media, in areas such as mining and different areas. And we will be releasing the details of those INFT products as soon as these contracts are finalized. And so that's a super exciting development. Going on to Cyber City. Cyber City is gonna be a game changer. It's gonna give our community, especially those that wanna operate an online business uh, in the energy community, the complete infrastructure, the tools, the videos, and an opportunity to make a lot of revenue for themselves simply by referring other people to energy. Right now we have the community builder, which is awesome but there's so much more that we can do besides just staking energy to offer marketers an opportunity to profit and gain from their network of people and to uh, incentivize the rapid acceleration and increase in the number of community members that we have. So energy, so uh, Cyber City is coming. I've, I've got a, a look at it here uh, just yesterday. Oh, it's absolutely going to be an amazing product. When we're able to show you what this will mean, it's going to use our INFT technology to give opportunity to uh, everybody in our community and to make automatic payments to all of us. Uh, it's going to be super uh, innovative. It is a model which Chris has used before. He helped generate a business which had over $200 million in sales. And he, thank goodness, is part of our community. He is implementing the same type of opportunity, but using the latest technology and using the energy DeFi ecosystem, we are going to roll with Cyber City and it's going to be uh, extremely exciting. We also created just this week, the first transaction rewards for Energy Go holders. Uh, super cool, super interesting. Uh, we, we will be getting claim buttons this week. Um, which will allow you to actually see the, the, the rewards and see what is being transpired. And it's actually really, really exciting. The next thing I want to tell you is we're opening a merchandise shop. It's going to be launching soon. Uh, excuse me. I'm sorry. So we're opening a merchandise shop and that merchandise shop is going to allow all of us to get, uh, a, you know, be real proud that we're a part of the energy community. You're going to be able to use Energy Go to purchase merchandise. 
And that also, that's an upcoming new thing that's going to be launched. I'm also announcing the fact that we're going to be creating a new media, social media cryptocurrency channel that's going to be on all of the major cryptocurrency channels, such as YouTube, TikTok, and literally every single uh, media channel. We've just brought on some experts that are going to be working full time developing our social media outreach so that obviously we need to have full-time efforts. We know we can have the content. We've got great trading technology, great market insight, great opportunities to share our vision and our and money-making and profitable ideas and publishing that simply other platforms simply don't have. We are going to be launching this new Energy Wire social media channel right now. That's our current uh, name for it. You saw the first uh, version of it. This will be a multiple time per week broadcast. It's obviously going to emphasize all the new exciting stuff that's going on in the energy community. Every time we bring on a new INFT, every new development, it's going to allow us to get that message across in a way that quite frankly, we haven't been able to so far, right? Also the new INFT marketplace is coming. And um, we also are going to eventually move to some live events, hopefully, all of you can come here in the fall. We can all meet up together and celebrate uh, the success of energy. So I just wanted to give everybody an idea and all of these things that I'm talking to you about, every single one of them, our goal, our aim, and what we believe to be accurate is we think all of this will be fully 100% operational by October 1st. That's only just a little bit over six, seven weeks away. I think that's an amazing accomplishment. When you go, when we went through and looked at this the, in detail, where we were on all these things, and we realized that most of this is already done. Uh, there's a, some front end work. We've also brought on new designers, new developers, to give us the look, the image, and all of a professional, top quality um, situation. So I want to just share with you. I'm gonna go ahead and share with you. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen this version of the staking page. I just wanted to share that with everybody because you'll be absolutely amazed when you see it. Um, I think it's going to be something really exciting for everyone to look at. Hold on one second. I think I just I have it here. Hold on. Yeah, here it is. Hold on. Let's share you this with you. I'll go ahead and, and share my screen here in a second. And then I'll talk to you a little bit about Energy Go and how that's working. Uh, let me go ahead and share my screen. I'm trying to get this up. Hold on a moment. Um, so we're gonna have a little difficulty with this. I mean, I just want you guys to see some of the stuff that's uh, been, while, you know, while it's just doing, amazing. While you're doing that, I'm gonna talk about those transactional rewards. Is that okay? Sure. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and stop your share for just a second. So let's talk about the transactional rewards for Energy Go. Oh, I, oh actually, okay, go ahead. So Energy Go, guys, if you're an Energy Go holder, the minute you buy Energy Go, no minimum, no maximum, now you own Energy Go, okay? You, since you're a holder and you have Energy Go, you're not selling Energy Go, you're holding Energy Go, you're earning more Energy Go every time it's bought or it's sold. Every time it's transacted in, you're earning more Energy Go. You're also earning... BNB, you're earning Binance coin. And guys, right now, Binance coin is valued at around $330, $350 a coin. I haven't looked at it this morning, but uh, it's a coin that has a lot of value as well. So we've got 2% transaction fees from Energy Go. And the way that gets divided up is half a percent goes back to Energy Go rewards. So that half a percent is is split amongst everybody in that has is holding energy go they get more energy go half a percent is in bnb and that's used for everybody that's holding energy go they get bnb and then half a percent is used for energy stakers who have five or more energy stake okay we're going to talk about what you get for staking energy because the real breadwinner coin that you want to have in your portfolio, in my opinion, is energy. That is the that is the value. Energy itself is extremely valuable. It's about 
$7,580 right now as we speak. So if you're an energy staker and you have at least five energy stake, half a percent of all the transactions that happen on Energy Go are, are, is dispersed back to energy stakers with five or more and they earn USDC, you earn actual dollars. And then half a percent is used to increase the liquidity on energy and make energy more valuable. So guys, once these transaction rewards go live this week and people start claiming their BNB and they realize by, by holding energy go, I can earn more energy go and more BNB, guess what's gonna happen? And then people realize, oh my gosh, if I have energy staked, I earn USDC, guess what's gonna happen? And, uh, and we'll talk about energy here in just a second and how yeah, energy- yeah. I'm ready to, Yeah, I'm, I'm, ready, I'm ready to share the screen now. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and let you share. There you go, Alan. Okay, hopefully everybody sees this, yes? Okay, check this out, okay? This is just show, this is a new staking page for energy. Uh, it is just beautiful. Well, unbelievable. Look at this thing. I mean, this is incredible. This is being deployed as well. Um, you can see we are we are ready for prime time now. It's really, really exciting. This will be deployed here this next week on top of the new dashboard, on top of all the new cool image and stuff that we have going. And this is just a beautiful, beautiful thing. I want everybody to see that. I'm super proud of that. Um, and that's getting ready. This new uh, image is new. Is our website is can we have lots of designs during the next week to two weeks that are going to be moving forward that are not on the current website that will be, and so expect to see some incredible developments on both the front end of the DApps as well as our website. And so I wanted to share that with you. Okay, that, so I, this is my first time for seeing that that Alan and that isn't looks that unbelievable. It yeah, it's good. just unbelievable. Look at this. Yeah. Look at this. This is beautiful. Yeah. Uh, this is, you know, it, it, it does something. Uh, it's just incredible. I mean, the, the talented people we got in our community. I mean, look at what we're doing. I mean, we have people that are experts in business development. We have people that are experts in smart contract coding. We have people that are experts in integrated the smart contract coding to the front end. We have experts in React and website and design. We have just an incredible community of people all working, building, creating. And the exciting part, we are literally close to just a little bit over six to seven weeks away, right? Uh, October 1st, to having everything that we've talked about in place, every single thing, not only the ones that we already have, but everything up and running everything fully fully functional everything ready to go we don't anticipate any new developments uh after october uh, at least in the short run all of our focus is going to be on uh, on on making the engine the economic engine of energy that's going to produce royalties it's going to produce new businesses it's going to produce new opportunities new educational uh, outreaches, new ways of people to transact. And it was interesting when you, when everybody was talking here today, they said, I'm from uh, different parts of the world. We truly are breaking down the barriers of, of countries and creating an economy that's global, that's going to provide fair, uh, equal and uh, opportunity for everyone to, uh, to, to grow their wealth. Because ultimately, that is the challenge that we face today. So it's really, really a, a, an important time. We are on the forefront of not only on the technology side, but the business development side. And we're looking forward to some really exciting times going forward. So I wanted just to mention one more thing uh, on Energy Go and how Energy Go fits into our uh, system and why it's important. So. When we developed the Starstake app and we started looking at ways in which people can purchase um, at the time BNB in order to stake and Starstake, because the Binance Smart Chain, due to the low transactional cost, we simply, you can't stake music if it costs you 25, 30, $40 in transaction fees. But we can stake music if it costs less than a dollar. And so the Binance Smart Chain 
was a natural extension. But to be able to transact, you need a, a, to buy BNB. And really, it's not in some jurisdictions, like in the United States, you go and you put your debit card in and you try to buy BNB and everything. And in the end, they say, well, you can't buy BNB in this jurisdiction. And so there's a lot of friction points that were put in place. And that's why it became super important for us to use our bridge technology, which we have, and create Energy Go as a, me as a mechanism in which people can purchase INFTs, purchase our products and services in our economy. And that's what Energy Go does. And while people use it to transact, it is earning rewards. It earn your, your balances will be going up. You probably noticed already. So it's a uh, relatively small amount. You, you'll see the number of energy go in your wallets continue to rise. You will be getting uh, rewards in BNB, which is going to be super exciting. And the cool part is that when you go and you purchase on the energy bridge with Ethereum, you get a little bit of BNB so you can transact right away, right? So that's super important. So when you get energy go, you can buy things, you can buy products, you can buy services, you can use it. And the cool part is that when you stake and you make it part of the ecosystem, now everything translates back over to energy. Energy ultimately is the long-term uh, payment platform on, on Ethereum. It will, as we bring in more of these INFT deals, and I love the way Dwayne puts it, it's going to squeeze the supply of energy. There is only 108,000 energy in circulation. That's it. And so as the usage increases, as we do, let's say uh, uh, INFT deal is $5 million, right? Imagine the impact, how much energy gets locked up, how much transaction fees are going to be generated and the impact on the price energy. And we're going to see that market mechanism, this unique market mechanism that's built into the design of energy that's going to create something that just doesn't exist today. And that is the opportunity for greater than a zero sum game. Most of the other and practically all other cryptocurrency projects out there all fail in one very, very important manner. And that is it's, there's, it's, there's no growth, but with royalty income generated from our INFT technology, and with the ecosystem and the market mechanisms of energy, energy go, all in play, we could see some incredible upside wealth creation for our entire community. And this is experimental. We are the first to do this. If we are successful, and I believe that we will be, we could see just an amazing wealth creation opportunity for our entire community taking place over the next short-term period. So I just wanted to, to uh, tell, show everybody where we've been and we've done all of this in five months. Um, and we're talking all of this. So I'm super proud of our, of our people and uh, includes everyone from Dwayne and Chris and Peter and all the people on the backside that you guys don't even know about that are working and all the people in our community all working together to create I believe it's going to be a very powerful economic force, not only in the cryptocurrency industry, but in the global economy. And that's going to be energy. Go ahead. So let's, let's um, I'm going to talk to you about how all this ties together. And I'm going to talk to you about why you also want the granddaddy of them all, which is energy, guys. But one thing I want to talk about before we go there, just a little bit on it. If you'll pull up the graphic, Alan, for uh, INFTs. INFTs. I just want to talk okay. just for a couple minutes about about INFT technology, and then we're going to talk about how this ties together. Guys, this technology. I want you to understand. We filed for a patent on this technology on INF on the INFT, and um, this INFT technology is really exclusive to the energy community. It's exclusive to the energy yeah. community. This is a technology that is really going, I believe, is the dawn of a new financial market. Yeah, I, just want to say, I just want to say one thing. And by the way, you can access this slideshow directly on Learn on the energydefi.com site. So if any of you guys want to go through, it goes into a lot of detail, okay? Not just about INFT, but you guys can get to this very easily. 
you can access these slides and you can learn more and more about, um, you know, what we're doing, all the details um, and everything that is in place that's going to create. Uh, so I'll, I'll go, go ahead, Dwayne. I just want to give people some examples on why this technology is so big. Okay, this Infinity NFT, because a lot of people don't realize until it hits you like a ton of bricks. And then when it hits you, you're like, oh my gosh, this is, this is amazing. INFT technology is basically on intellectual property. It allows an infinite number of people to, to basically earn royalties from intellectual property in an, in an NFT, in a traditional NFT, but this is an infinity NFT. And that intellectual property, guys, is you're talking about trillion plus dollar industry. It, it reaches to almost every business sector. Not, not almost, it does reach to every business sector out there. Every single thing. How can it be applied? What's some examples? Let me give you some examples. Guys, NFT technology, you could be a, a restaurant and maybe you do an infinity NFT on a recipe and every time a dish is served, that dish is served in your restaurant and generates a royalty for infinity nft owners yeah. maybe you're a musician that you have a song or an album every time there's licensing revenue coming in generates a royalty for infinity nft owners maybe you wrote a book maybe it's a movie maybe it's a, a pharmaceutical company that develops a breakthrough medication and they do an infinity nft and every single time that medication is used it generates a royalty for infinity nft owners maybe it's a supplement Maybe it's a cool product, like a cool insert, a cool insole that you put in your, your shoe that supports your back and your alignment and things like that. Guys, this in intellectual property doesn't have to be patented. It just has to be an intellectual property that, that you have, that has and, traits. Yeah, and, and, and you bring up a good point because some of the uh, companies that Dwayne and and myself and I have well, they have existing contracts for their intellectual properties. They're generating revenues today, and they are looking at energy and saying, you know, I can leverage this and make a royalty payment to the energy community and get energy in return. And the uh, market mechanism of energy could give me a return far more than I could ever imagine. And so that is the uh, attractive draw to businesses. But once again, we have music right? Movies, digital education, podcasts, inventions of all types, any licensed product, informational products, really any type of trade secret, anything in the science and art or literature, all of these industries have the opportunity to use INFT technology to generate um, success. So I want to just look, show you, here is our algorithm. And what is INFT in a sense? It's a royalty payment algorithm. That's what it does. It takes royalty payments from people buying into the INFT, becoming licensors, from companies generating royalty revenue, and it pays it out just the same way our community builder pays out the wallets. It pays out, it compensates the company or the intellectual property owner. It pays out royalties to uh, rights holders that are part of the INFT. It even... And it uses energy to do this. And the more use we have on energy, of course, the more valuable it will become. It even can create access tokens. We have some INFT deals that we're working on getting under contract. They're gonna generate these new type of access tokens that have a market in themselves. And so all of this fills into the fact that we have an incentivized network. How are people gonna learn about these royalty opportunities? through our decentralized distribution licensor network. The, the people are gonna spread the word. People are gonna evaluate and look at these royalty opportunities and they're gonna invest and they're gonna own. And they're gonna, most importantly, every time we do an INFT, it's going to tie up energy supply. So we have a, and that market mechanism of use is going to create it's one of the greatest attractive features for companies looking to pay royalties to the energy community. And it also is going to be amazing as we get uh, these different INFT deals into, a, into our platform. And once the, those revenues come in, I say, watch out for energy.
and, and this is, and guys, I want you to understand why businesses will be chomping at the bit for this, this INFT technology. Why will they be chomping at the bit to share royalties from their existing uh, cells? Well, it's really simple, guys. They get to take in an unlimited amount of capital, right? To expand the cells of their intellectual property. Think about that. They get to take in an unlimited amount of capital to expand the cells of their intellectual property, and they do so without taking on additional debt and without giving up equity. And that is huge for a business. So they get to take in this unlimited capital to expand their intellectual cells, and they also get to take an asset in energy that could 10x, 20x, 50x or more in value. So I want you to understand this intellectual property reaches to every business sector out there, whether you're a restaurant, whether you're a movie, whether you have a unique invention or a product, whether you have a process to, to mine gold, whatever it may be, right? This takes and expands to every industry. I think you can see how excited we are about uh, the business prospects. And, uh, you know, I think it comes out in, you know, what we feel, how passionate we are uh, about this. I think all, many of you will, are going to be equally passionate. Um, this isn't about hype. It's not about saying, well, energy is going to a million dollars or a hundred thousand dollars. It's about, you should look at this realistically, look at what we create, the market mechanism that is the energy infrastructure and DeFi community. Look how we built these critical pieces and integrate them together and look at where we can be in just six or seven weeks. And I think you'll come to the realization that um, we have a, 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 an exciting adventure ahead and all of us can join together and enjoy the, uh, the experience of something that I think is gonna be very, very special for all of us. So Alan, I wanna talk about energy and I wanna talk about how all this ties together. So I'm going to show you guys a video. Guys, I want you to understand about energy though. Okay. I want you to understand something about energy. Energy, there is no owner of energy. Energy is owned by the community. It is owned by you guys. Okay. People say, well, why? Why are you guys always doing the presentations? I want you to understand when we deployed energy, we relinquished all control, but we bought a lot of energy. So we have obviously a vested interest in building up the platform. So we have our own development teams that are building applications upon energy. And we also have other community members that are building applications on the energy uh, platform as well. And so when we deployed energy guys, we did so completely selflessly. We relinquished all or selflessly, I should say selflessly. We relinquished all control of energy and there is no developer cut. There's no pre-mined supply. There were no influencer coins that were given out on energy. Not only that is what's called an elastic supply. It means that, that a reward is only created when new liquidity is added to the staking contract. A lot of DeFi coins out there, they keep producing this endless, endless reward. And uh, energy doesn't. It only produces a reward when new liquidity um, goes into the staking contract. Not only that, but uh, energy was deployed on the IPFS, interplanetary file system, which means there is no centralized plug that can be pulled. It is all peer-to-peer -peer data sharing. We can pull the data from multiple different places. And the most powerful thing about energy is that you're not giving your money to a company. Your money goes into a liquidity pool in the form of a smart contract. And the value of that contract can go up or down, but you can remove your money at any time. You have full control of your money. You're not at the mercy of any, any, any company, any centralized exchange, or any world government. So I'm going to play a quick video that's going to show you how this all ties together. So let me share my screen. I am on my phone. I want to share it from my phone. Give me just a second. ...of money. Let's take a journey back in time. 
they were a group of pioneers who wanted something different to get an abundance out of life. So they got together and went out west. They encountered lots of hardships before settling where they wanted to build their community. And instead of just one person benefiting mostly, they decided to do things a little different. So the pioneers pooled their money together and essentially established a bank owned by these pioneers. New members started joining the community. They started businesses that were owned by anybody in the community who wanted to participate. Together, they developed these businesses to be profitable. A portion of these profits were shared back to the bank owned by the pioneers. More businesses popped up with community members working to develop each one and sharing in the profits of the business they developed. And while the bank owned by the original pioneers shared a piece of the profit generated from each business, new community members were given the option to buy into the bank owned by the original pioneers and it became known as the Community Bank. Some of the new members decided to also own a piece of the Community Bank and paid what seemed like a high price. Other members remained stubborn and chose to only profit with the business they were working to develop. More businesses were developed and the Community Bank became even more profitable. The stubborn community members who felt it was too expensive to buy into the Community Bank before were finally ready to buy in, but when they went back, they were shocked at how much the price went up. The community continued to grow, and more and more businesses were developed, while the community bank that shared in a piece of the profit from each business continued to grow fatter and fatter. Community members who owned a piece of the community bank reaped the rewards. The stubborn community members who didn't take action to stake their piece in the community bank earlier when they felt the price was too high were finally ready to purchase at the much, much higher price now. Finally, everyone was able to enjoy the fruits of the entire community, and the community prospered together, passing their wealth to generations to come. But there's a problem. Over time, Wealth has been diminished from generations by authorities who seek to control them. So today, a new community in cryptocurrency called Energy has formed, a community poised to energize the world and create wealth for the very pioneers of today. Would you like to be a pioneer and create wealth for your family? Energy is the cryptocurrency deployed to create wealth for the community members who choose to stake it. Decentralized businesses in many sectors are being developed by the energy community. These decentralized businesses are known as dApps or decentralized applications. Would you like to earn cash flow from royalty payments? Community members who keep at least 25 energy state can access royalty payments, which is paid as a cash flow to these members in the form of energy. This energy can be staked to earn additional energy or swap for Ethereum or USDC, US dollar coin, through the energy liquidity pool that acts much like a decentralized bank. Would you like to own an asset that not only generates cash flow for you, but also increases in value as the demand rises? As more and more profitable dApps are developed, the demand for energy becomes greater and greater. As the demand increases from people wanting to stake energy to earn royalty payments and from supply that is tied up when DAP products and services are consumed, the USDC in the energy liquidity pool increases, while the limited supply of energy is decreased. This causes the value of energy to rise. The supply of energy is extremely limited, while virtually an unlimited amount of USDC can be added to the liquidity pool. In this way, the energy liquidity pool acts similar to a decentralized bank owned by the community. As the demand for energy becomes greater and greater, the value could skyrocket. Would you like to also mint energy for yourself and for your family? In addition to sharing in DAP revenues, energy stakers get to earn from the minting of energy. Energy will mint for a period of 100 weeks from February 20th, 2021, which is approximately two years. While 25 energy needs to be staked to earn royalty payments from DAP revenues, 
any amount of energy can be staked to earn in the minting. Minting rewards are earned weekly and are automatically compounded back into staking. Simply put, the more energy you stake, the more energy you will earn from minting. The only question left is, are you ready to stake your claim in this new economy? How much can you potentially earn from staking? Now, I want to be clear that the following example is purely hypothetical and is not to be construed as a guarantee. Community members who keep at least 25 energy staked can earn royalty payments from all the dApps built upon the energy platform. Keep in mind that not many people are able to stake 25 energy. Not necessarily because of the price, but because of the supply. Energy is extremely limited in supply, which in turn limits the number of accounts that can have 25 energy staked. As of the filming of this video, the very first Blockbuster dApps are under development, and there are only about 150 accounts with 25 or more energy staked. If these first dApps were to disperse an average of $100,000 per day in royalty payments to accounts with at least 25 energy staked, each account would receive over $650 in cash flow per day. This equates to almost a whopping quarter of a million dollars per year for each one. Of course, the number of accounts staking 25 energy is likely to increase over time, but so is the number of profitable dApps. The development of the energy community and decentralized businesses built upon the platform is constantly ongoing. As more and more profitable dApps are created upon the energy platform, the extremely limited supply of energy is squeezed more and more, causing the value to surge. How do you stake? Energy can only be staked using Ethereum or USDC through the Community Builder dApp. The Community Builder is a highly effective way to grow the energy community. 75% of your purchase is used to stake energy while 25% goes to community builders. By incentivizing the community, we are able to educate and grow our community much faster, which makes the energy you're staking and earning much more valuable. While you can purchase the coin directly from decentralized exchanges such as Uniswap and own 100% of your purchase, you are not able to multiply your coins like you can through staking by sharing in the dApp revenues and minting of the coin. Once you stake energy, you also become a community builder yourself. A total of 25% is paid over two tiers. You earn 15% of the energy staked by the people you personally invite and 10% of the energy staked by the people they invite, which is paid directly into your wallet. Since energy is not a company and owned exclusively by the community, 100% of the community builder fees go back to the community and are rewarded to those actively growing the community. You are not locked into staking for any time frame, and you can unstake and cash out your energy at any time. To prevent people from jumping in and out of staking, 7.5% of the coins unstaked are burned and permanently removed from the total supply of energy. This limits the supply of energy even more making it more scarce and even more valuable. Energy is setting an unmatched precedence to change the world for better. Are you ready to get energized? Are you ready to be a pioneer and stake energy? I had to share that from you from my phone because we are making those last minute adjustments. If you saw it from this last week to this week, you've seen a few little minor changes and that is about ready to go. But that kind of ties together energy for people. So how can you stake energy? Well, what do you get for staking energy? Guys, if you stake any amount of energy, you're gonna earn in the minting of the coin. You're gonna earn rewards every week. And interestingly enough, if you get in before the end of this weekend, you're gonna earn all this past week's rewards. If you have five energy staked, okay? And to stake five energy, you need to stake seven, right? You got 25% goes to community builder, 75% goes into staking. So if you stake seven energy, you have five energy staked. If you have five energy staked, you share, you get the minting of the coin 
and you also earn USDC every time Energy Go is transacted with. And then if you have 25 energy stake, and to, to stake 25 energy, you need to stake 34, right? 25% community builder, 75% in staking. So when you, when you have 25 energy staked, you get the minting of the coin, you earn USDC every single time that energy is transacted in, and, and you also earn royalty payments from DAP revenues and from Infinity NFTs. You don't just earn on one Infinity NFT, you earn on all of them on the energy platform. And so that really is the ultimate goal to have at least 25 energy staked. So how, how do you stake energy? Well, you're gonna get back to the person who invited you here. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna, they're gonna give you a link to Community Builder, okay? It's gonna look like this. And you're gonna go that link, you're gonna connect your MetaMask wallet. And if you don't have one, then you know we'll help direct you. It's really easy to get set up. And you're gonna stake energy with Ethereum. And once you stake energy, now you're able to earn in the minting of the coin, you're able to earn USDC on Energy Go, providing you stake enough. And you're also able to earn, set yourself up to earn royalty incomes from the DAP revenues and from the Infinity NFTs. So you definitely, it's highly encouraged to stake energy. Why? Because energy is the granddaddy of them all. This is really what, you know, in the end becomes very valuable, right? We're squeezing our low supply coin with our high supply coin energy go. And when Energy Go gets used to purchase Infinity NFTs, when it gets used to purchase uh, goods and services in our dApps, that's converted to energy automatically, and it's dispersed out to to uh, to people who who uh, are staking energy. So at this time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell everybody on Facebook. I'm open up for a short Q and A. If you're out there on Facebook and you want to get on here, you have questions. Whatever video you're watching, there's a link in the comments. You can get on this Zoom. And uh, maybe you're watching it from a friend's page who shared it out. If there's no link in the comments, that original video, the original video that they shared it from, go to that video. There is a link in the comments to get on this Zoom, get your questions answered. But at this time, I'm going to go ahead and end the recording. I'm going to tell everybody on Facebook Enjoy your weekend. Go get energized because, guys, there's a lot coming, a lot coming in the coming week. There's a lot coming in the coming weeks. And I truly believe, I think you guys can see why the value of energy and energy go could go much, much higher. You know, I always laugh when people go, oh, my gosh, did I miss the boat? It went up 2000 percent on opening day. No, this is only just the beginning. You didn't miss the boat. Uh, when you understand everything in the energy De DeFi financial system, you start understanding really the sky is the limit. So Facebook, go enjoy your weekend with your family. Uh, everybody on the Zoom, stick around and I'll do a short, open it up for a short Q&A. Bye now, Facebook.